Hey there, sixth grade. Um, real quick, I wanted to show this real quick video. It's just a couple of reminders. Um, real, on the left-hand side, you'll notice uh, in Google Earth, I've got my place marks set up right here. And uh, you'll also recognize that you'll notice that uh, if I were to save my famous place, my famous landmarks folder, there's one place mark that would be left out, and that would be the National September 11th Memorial place mark. You'll notice that it's outside of my folder and not inside my folder. So the thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drag and drop and put that in the folder. Now you can see they're all in a line and they're all there. Now when I single right click on Famous Landmarks, I'll do Save Place As, and this is going to give me an opportunity to save that to, uh, to uh, whatever folder you would choose. So I'm just going to save that to my desktop real quick. And there I've got it now I've got it saved when I save the folder it saves everything in its place now real quick um, to let you know when you do your tour when you stand up in front of class and you're going to go ahead and give your tour it's probably a good idea to, to choose in what order you would like to to do your tour in uh, so if I would like the St. Louis Arch to be first I'm going to go ahead and drag it up to the top first um, then Lincoln Memorial will be next uh, so you can drag and drop these in any order that you would choose um, typically, when you stand up in front of the class, you're just going to go ahead and double click on one and it's going to take you directly to the place mark. Um, also, uh, there is a setting inside of the show, or sorry, inside of uh, Google Earth that would allow you to, when you click on the individual place mark, that it brings up the bubble that has all your descriptions in it. I know many of you probably have descriptions and or an image of some sort inside of your place mark. So that's there too. When you're ready to move on to your next place mark, just double click on the place mark and it will fly you directly to that location. There's also uh, another option too for you when you're doing a, a tour, and uh, it is this. If you go ahead and click on Famous Places, and down at the very bottom lower right-hand corner, you first have to make sure you click and select it on a folder. There's a little, little button down here that allows you to take a tour, and what it does is it is a self-automated and self-guided tour, and what it does is it sets a pre-set amount of time at a certain place mark before it'll move to your next one. So you'll notice I didn't do any clicking on that one. It just is on its own moving to the next place mark. Now, I will give you a word of caution on this, that the settings for this tour are not set by your, your place marks, by your folder. All these tour settings in terms of the timing, how long you stay at a place, how long it takes you to fly from a place, those all are inside of each individual Google Earth. So you can set these on your computer, but then if you view these place marks on another computer, those settings are going to be all, all off because they are determined by the laptop or the computer that you're working on and not by the tour itself. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this tour. Um, so just let you know, if you're looking for those options that are under Tools, I'm going to go Options. And here I have uh, at the very top is my 3D view. This is a, a cache uh, for working offline. And you're under Touring. You know, here I can determine the time between views, number of seconds, how long to wait at each feature. Um, to show the balloon, I'm waiting at a feature, that's like the description balloon and also the camera tilt and angles and some different pieces too, how long it, it, do you fly when you're there. So that's an option too. There is yet a, a third option that you're able to do, and that is to record your own tour. Um, when you record your own tour, what it does is it gives you an opportunity uh, gives you an opportunity to actually do the recording and lay down voice over the top of it. Um, I wouldn't suggest that, and that's not something that you're going to be able to do because you're going to have to stand up in front of the class to do your presentation. But if you were to do that, it would be at the very top. Here's a button that says Record Tour, and uh, you can go from there, and it allows you to, to do voice over the top of your tour as you click and go through. So those are your options for creating your tour. I'd encourage you to come up to the Smart Board, load your, uh, load your place marks, and uh, give, it a, give it a practice so that you have the opportunity when you stand up in front of the class to make a good showing of your time up there.